So one of Elon Musk's team is talking about genius. He's saying that each of us are genius, you know, in a, in a, in a, I'm paraphrasing him and taking a little bit of uh, uh, amplification of what he's saying. But he's saying, you know, that each of us has this great talent inside us, but we just can't get it out. We're, we're restricted by our physical bodies. We're restricted because we can't play the piano or, or we can't draw, we can't do something like that. So to, to sort of follow up on Elon's thought, um, you know, I feel, and I imagine a, a lot of other people feel the same way, that there's a lot of um, sort of trapped creativity in your mind. You know, you can, for example, you know, close your eyes and conjure up like an incredible like Dali-esque scene. But you know, if I wanted to actually show someone that, it would, yeah, it would take years of cra you know, honing a craft to be able to paint that. And so you know, potentially with enough electrodes in the right places, you could begin to sort of tap into those raw concepts or thought vectors and be able to um, decode that and, and show people. It could be for you know, art, you imagine music, or even for like engineering, like a three-dimensional model. And, like, so mental it. artistry is a new field. <laughs> Um, mastery of, for instance, something like writing or art is not the same as something like martial arts. With martial arts, you need to have a body that can do things. Um, with art, you don't need to do a lot. An ordinary person can put a piece of paper over a great master's drawing and they can, and they can draw the outline and they can have a fantastic drawing. Because the, the issue within art is not your, your capacity and your skill. It's knowing where to put the marks. It's knowing where to put color. Anybody can mix color. Anyone can put it on. It's just knowing what to do and where to put it. Unlike martial arts, which, invo which involves the body to be able to do things, which comes through lots of training. He talks a little bit about Dali, you know, because, you know, Dali had this, you know, uh, world, this sort of a dream world, you know, and um, our, our minds can sort of come up with the same weird things that Dali did. But Dali is, is a famous artist, as is Picasso. Um, and just because someone's famous doesn't mean that they're good. You can talk about someone like Cezanne or Matisse or Van Dongen, who, in my opinion, were far greater artists. Because uh, what goes on in the mental plane is not the same as what goes on in physicality. You can have a very good artist which comes up with a very good picture in their brain and they have the capacity to paint it and they paint it, but it just doesn't look or have the same uh, uh, quality as what was um, in, your, in your mind. So painting or extracting what's in here and placing it in the physical world is not, um, is not the same. It doesn't work like that. Creativity doesn't work like that. Creativity is actually very difficult. Um, when you're doing something like Cezanne, going through a Cezanne work, you're actually going through a path, you're going through a process of discovery. You don't just think something up and then uh, copy paste. The creativity comes through a very long path of, of discussion, of reflection, of trying to understand. And when you look at the creation, it's like a conversation. And that conversation goes somewhere, it goes somewhere internal. So the conversation between the ex internal and the external is the journey of the internal. This idea that, you know, is a sort of a narcissistic idea that, you know, we all have these great ideas and these great thoughts, but because we don't have the, the, the tools to manifest them, therefore we are all uh, lost. It's like when you get drunk and you have these fantastic ideas and then the next day you're sober and you realize, oh yeah, they weren't a very good idea. People have these very great ideas that they think are great ideas, but when you turn it into a physical uh, manifestation, it ceases to become a good idea because the mental plane and the physical plane are very different. The purpose of art isn't to replicate what's in your head. The purpose of art is to have a conversation with yourself, to find places in yourself that you didn't know existed. And to do that takes hard work and it takes skill. And this skill comes through your want, through your willingness to go to that place. And that requires strength. What they're doing is they're saying without having all of these traits of strength and courage, you'll automatically be able to go and become a genius. That's not how creativity works. It's never how creativity has worked. 
the whole creative process is an exploration and a very difficult one. That's why lots of people give up. That's why lots of people don't continue. That's why lots of people don't go to that level because they don't have that capacity. So what the technology is doing is it's selling you easiness. It's saying, if you take this technology, we will give you this. We will make you a great master. Of course, they're not saying it. They're just saying they're alluding to it. You know, they're putting those seeds in your head for you to think, oh, yeah, maybe I should do that because that's what I'm going to get. So people are being led into this technology on a false premise, on, a, on an illusion, on something they're being sold, which is impossible to happen on a creative basis.